we knew for sure that certain types of mental training, beyond a doubt, enhanced sports performance, and the evidence was undeniable. Well, we know from a lot of studies in the last 10 years, the neurofeedback training is really effective at improving day-to-day -day performance in focus, sleep, and even physical activities. So why is it that neurofeedback training hasn't been adopted by every athlete and major sports team in the world? We've seen professionals like Kirk Cousins of the Minnesota Vikings NFL team and Max Griffin of the UFC talk publicly about their use of the Muse headband to train their brains in order to reach peak performance. The meditation thing though I have, it's called a Muse and it knows when your, your mind's panicked, it knows when you're, when you're focused. If you could be in the moment, it's over, man. I've, I've never been so in the moment. This fight, my corner was talking to me. I was kind of talking to them. And I just felt so present, man. But I still think that there's something about the traditional neurofeedback experience that makes it difficult for athletes and people in general to connect with neurofeedback training. Well, I think a new partnership between the Muse headband and a mental performance company called Alphabeats might help bridge that gap. With the Alphabeats app, you can listen to your favorite music and get immediate feedback on how high your alpha brain waves are, which are linked to athletic flow state and it's quite a bit different from what we've seen from Muse in the past. And after using neurofeedback technologies for the past 10 years, I must say that I'm really excited about this new opportunity. I found it really fun to listen to my favorite music while doing brain training for a change. In this video, we'll take a look at the science behind the Muse Alpha Beats program, my first impressions, and who I think Alpha Beats would be best suited for. Alpha Beats is a neurofeedback program designed specifically to increase your alpha brainwave frequencies, which have been linked to an increase in athletic performance. They originally launched on the BrainBit platform, but now you can use it with their Muse headband as well. You can track your mood and energy levels before and after the sessions, and during the sessions themselves, the music changes in depth quality as you increase your alpha brainwave levels. As you're listening to the music, if you lose focus and alpha goes down, the music becomes more shallow and loses its bass. And then if you center your focus and increase your alpha levels, the music becomes more rich and the bass is added back in. Right off the bat, I really enjoyed the smoothness of the response of the Alpha Beats app. The process of adding and subtracting the bass and the depth of the music is really smooth. So it really adds like you're adding layers to the music as you center your focus. What I also really liked about this setup is that there's really low latency, meaning there's a very quick response to your focus levels in terms of the neurofeedback. If you lose focus, you notice quickly that it loses the bass, but if you get back centered, the bass comes back really quick. Sometimes with these neurofeedback programs, you can notice a lag of feedback and it can get confusing about when exactly you did lose focus and what type of focus is working well for the neurofeedback program. Alphabet seems to be really well designed where it's this immediate response so that you can guide your mind into different levels of focus to get the higher alpha levels and really add to the richness of the music. I did notice that the Alphabeats app tends to be a stickler about the EEG connection of the Muse headband, so you might have to fiddle around with the quality of the connection a bit more than you would with the regular Muse app, but I was able to get both the Muse S and Muse 2 working with Alpha Beats without much difficulty after wetting the sensors. Now, to be clear, the standard Muse headband app is staying exactly the same. Alpha Beats is a separate company with a different app that you can think of as a third party app that you can add on to your training if you would like some more variety outside of what's found in the normal Muse app at this point. It's really nice to have that option after using the regular Muse app for many years. And boosting and reporting alpha power over time is something specific to Alpha Beats. That might be confusing to Muse users because the Muse app recently introduced something called Alpha Peak, which reports the strongest power point within the alpha band and is a different type of measurement related to brain health. I'll have more content explaining the difference between the two types of measurements in a video that's coming out next month. 
So I noticed that I definitely feel more present and aware after doing an Alpha Beats training session, which lasts about 10 minutes each. But what's the science behind it? There's a lot of research out there that suggests the higher levels of alpha help get you into flow state better for peak performance during sports and other activities. If you look at the spectrum of brainwave frequencies, alpha is right in the sweet spot between the slower delta and theta waves that are present in sleep and drowsiness and the higher beta and gamma brainwaves, which can represent fear, anxiety, or distraction. Alpha seems to be that perfect balance point of calm alertness that allows people to perform at their highest levels, especially in high stress situations during competition in sports. And I recently learned that alpha brainwaves can actually help filter out a lot of the noise of the environment that you are present in. Science is showing that we can only really filter about 1% of the information that's being shown in front of us to our eyeballs. So the alpha brainwaves help filter out the stuff that we don't need so you can focus in on what's truly important to get peak performance. And I'm seeing a lot of correlations in the science of Neurable, for instance, which both use alpha levels as an attention biomarker. The Neurable headphones zero in on alpha specifically to track your focus. Alpha plummets down as soon as you lose focus and their machine learning algorithms are really focusing on that. But the problem with Neurable right now is they don't really have any focus training games yet. So it's more of a Fitbit for your brain in terms of focus. And that's where Alpha Beats is really going to shine right now because they've got some really good research about how their neurofeedback protocol improves focus and performance in sports. Right now, I think that they made a really smart move and targeted the niche of athletes and high achievers that want to use neurofeedback to improve physical performance. Most of the research that they've done is with athletes. In 2012, they showed that there was a 33% increase in alpha power in test subjects after they used alpha beats for 15 sessions. A follow-up study in 2023 with soccer players confirmed that there was over a 30% increase in alpha brainwaves of the players after 20 sessions. Their studies go on to explain that increased alpha has been shown to improve attention, impulse control, working memory, and even mental rotation and imagination imagery, which as you can imagine is important for coordination as well as imagining success in sports. The Alpha Beats studies also showed a subjective improved relaxation and focus with athletes feeling more grounded and calm during physical performance, and they also were getting better sleep at night. They tested it in Olympians and professional athletes and all types of different sports to include gymnasts, soccer players, archers, and others. The data would suggest that increasing levels of alpha is important for sports because it allows people to focus under pressure, handle stress, and recover quickly after mental strain to give those athletes an edge in their competitive sports. I've been trying the Alpha Beats program for a couple of weeks, so here are my thoughts so far. One of the things that I think turns people off to experiences like the Muse headband is that the music and experiences have been tailored more towards a meditation familiar audience. Let's face it, people that meditate on a daily basis tend to be more familiar and comfortable in general compared to the general population when it comes to spiritual audio soundscapes filled with chimes and bells and nature sounds. Personally, I come from a competitive hockey background growing up, and I know many people from that life are not typically exposed or enjoy the spiritual soundscape of the meditative experience. Maybe instead of listening to something relaxing that makes you feel at peace with nature, people would rather listen to something that gets them pumped up and ready to do deadlifts or body check someone into the boards at the rink. And I remember in the locker room getting ready for a hockey game, we were blasting rock music and other genres to help us get pumped up and ready for the game. So I definitely see Alpha Beats being more in line with that. What stands out is that you can pick any music genre that you want. So if you're trying to get pumped up for the big game, you can listen to your favorite tracks, but also increase your alpha levels at the same time through the neurofeedback. That way you're sharp, mindful, and aware before the game even starts. And when I was doing this research, I was like, man, I really wish I had this growing up because I definitely remember having hockey tryouts and other games that I didn't perform in very well. I would just trip over my skates or lose the puck in ways that I normally wouldn't if I was more relaxed in a regular game. And those silly mistakes caused lost games, me not making hockey teams because of it. 
So I have no doubt that if I had something like alpha training, I could have increased my alpha levels, just calm down and enjoy the game and probably perform so much better. So Alpha Beats actually challenges you to increase alpha both with eyes closed, but also sessions with eyes open so that you're comfortable feeling that brainwave state while you're actively engaged in sports training or competition. Some of you out there have heard me talk about energy centers before. There's supposed to be energy centers over each shoulder and above your third eye. And I noticed that if I open each energy center and center my focus in a sphere around my head and then become very present and try to evoke the bass out of the music, that's what works for me. It seems to increase alpha levels and I get a good amount of the positive feedback on the Alpha Beats program. That's my own strategy and you'll have to develop your own. I've got a lot of meditation tutorials out there if you're curious about learning more. And I am planning on putting out a new Muse meditation course, which is going to come out in a couple of months. Overall, I do see this as an enhanced mindfulness training. We know from Amishi Jha's book, Peak Mind, that mindfulness training was shown to improve performance in infantry military members during firearm training. So there's a lot of evidence between this type of training and how it translates into performance in various scenarios. The training reminded me of how in MindLift you can pick any audio landscape you want through use of YouTube with the neural feedback. But with Alpha Beats, what's nice is that you don't need a healthcare professional to choose neural feedback protocols for you. In contrast, it's really plug and play and easy to use. It's also considerably more affordable than MindLift as we'll see. I will note that you can't just pick any song on Alpha Beats. You have to go through the streaming service.fm. So you can pick the genre, but you have to use whatever music comes up in the queue. The streaming service played a lot of familiar tracks of major labels during my neurofeedback training, but I didn't include them in this video in order to avoid copyright issues. I should also note that as you get further into the training, the Alpha Beats app starts adding in additional mind challenges games like this impulse control dice game that hopefully your increased alpha levels will help you perform in better. Of note, you don't have to have the Muse subscription to use Alpha Beats if you have the Muse headband. The Alpha Beats app is a subscription service around $15 a month, but you can get a discount with the Dr. Cody link below if you're interested. Going through that link really helps support the channel and I appreciate it as always. So if you've been using the Muse headband for a while and explored all their meditation landscapes and are looking for something new to try with your Muse S or Muse 2, maybe give Alpha Beats a try for a different variation of neurofeedback training, or you can just keep both apps. You can buy the Alpha Beats package right now to come with either BrainBit or the Muse. The BrainBit's a really comfortable headband that's easy to use, but it doesn't really have many options in its native app. I would much prefer the Muse because it has a lot more options and it works great with the Alpha Beats program as well. So if you're an athlete or just interested in peak performance by increasing your alpha levels, take a look at Alpha Beats. I really enjoyed it. If you wanna learn more about peak alpha measurements using the Muse headband, click this video here and I'll see you on the other side.